Hello, good evening, good evening. This is Shaban Mohammed back again with a lot of transfer updates. Thank you for joining us. This is Mo TV. Like I always say, you can only subscribe for all the updates. You can follow us on YouTube, Mo TV. Kindly subscribe and enjoy all the exclusives. You can also follow us on Facebook. That is Shaban Mohammed or Mo TV on Facebook. Then on Twitter, it's Shaban mo nine at shaban mo nine or x so twitter or x shaban mo nine then ig instagram authentic mo shaban tiktok is shaban mohammed follow me let's talk about ghana premier league let's discuss in-depth ghana premier league let's discuss the facts around the ghana premier league so follow us this is the only platform where we give you the accurate information the accurate information here we go straight to the point and tell you what you have to know now. Let's start with the transfer update around how to fuck. Um, Yaya Adraman. Yaya Adraman is a winger who plays for being goal stars. And currently, how to fuck are having negotiation with a right back. Don't forget that how to fuck already have Michael Ampedu as a right back who joined how to fuck last year from Legon Cities after playing his entire season with them and joining how to fuck as a free agent. Now, how to focus on negotiating for Yaya Abraman? But why is the deal delaying? Because last week I reported that how to focus are having some deal around Yaya Abraman, who is a right back of Gold Stars. Now, this is it. One, Gold Stars still have one year contract with the right back. He signed a three year contract after gaining promotion with the team. He has been consistent with the team. He has seen everything with the team. He has been the first right back the first option for the team since 2021-22 when they joined the premier league from division one now with one year contract the club has informed the player that he is not part of their plans and that is an information given to them by their um, coach from paul manson he has informed the player that he's not part of the plan for the 2024-2025 season. Now, the player still has one year contract. You know, there's a difference between you are not part of the plan for next season and contract termination. Now, it means that Goal Stars would have to sit down with Yaya Adraman and officially part ways. So, in the course of parting ways, Goal Stars will now agree to it whether they are going to give him six months of his salary, three months of his salary, or the one year of his salary then they can mutually part ways. Now, that kind of negotiation is not done. That negotiation is not done yet. So until that negotiation is done, Yaya Adraman will have to hold on with his move to hard to folk. Then he can finish with the contract termination agreement with Gold Stars. And if that is done tomorrow, hard to folk would have Yaya Adraman finishing the deal with them. Then he can sign a permanent contract. So, they are looking at a two-year deal. And so how to focus the Yaya Draman are looking at a two-year deal. But then until he officially terminates his contract with Gold Stars, it is going to be difficult for him to sign a contract with her to focus. So for now, his contract with Gold Stars have not been terminated. However, however, with Yaya Adraman, he must also part ways with them before he can officially join at the full but the information is that Gold Stars have informed him he's not part of their plan. So, and so in the course of the preseason he has not been part of the team. He's at home at a point in time last last week he was at Hard to Folk training grounds when the justifier players were having a uh, training or were tr- having trials at the Poviman Sports Complex. So that is something around the area Abdul Rahman. Now let's switch to Andy Kumi Francis. Now, Andy Kumi Francis is a striker and he joined Kumasa Santiago of Kotoko from Unistar Academy. And don't forget that before he joined Kotoko from Unistar Academy, he had been invited by, at that time, he was invited by CK Akono to be part of the Black Star squad at a point. So if you remember us at that time when you heard about a Division 1 player being part of the Black Stars, it was Andy Kumi Francis. He went to Kotoko, and as at his time, there were the players like Fabio Gama, uh, Boateng, uh, Frankie Tuga, and Bella, George Figue, and all that. So 
it was very difficult for him to break into the Kotoko starting level as to why he didn't have enough playing time. It was that was his problem. And as at that time, it was 2021-22 under Dr. Prosper. So as at after the 2020-2021, where he didn't have enough time. In the 2021-2022, Dr. Prosper Natogo informed him it's not part of his plans. So Andy Kumi Francis moved on to Bichim. Then at Bichim United, he didn't play more games. Then he joined Kotoko Royals, where he scored 12 goals for them in the 2022-2023 season. So at Kotoko Royals in the 2022-2023 season, he had some good, decent season. Then from there, Andy Kumi Francis moved straight to Serbia. In Serbia, he had enjoyed, he played about two teams in Serbia. Then his agent was negotiating a move for him to Poland. So in the course of negotiating a deal for him to Poland, it has been very tough. So Andy Kumi Francis has returned home. And so he's back in Ghana. And the report is that Hato Folk have made contact and his agent and Hato Folk are discussing for a possible deal. And that is a striker for a former Kotoko striker, Beijing United, Kotoko Royals. And so for now, there is no concrete deal between has and Andy Kumi Francis. However, the team has officially contacted the agent of the player for a possible deal. Don't forget that Hato Folk has uh, someone watching the free as a striker. Uh, is uh, Ham, uh, Hamza Isa is also there and all that. So they are looking at getting more strikers to beef up the squad ahead of the 2024. 2025. So Andy Kumi Francis, a bit of background around him, and the indication is that Hearts of Oak want the deal signed or they want the deal, and they are looking forward to grab the signature of the striker, having gained experience, having seen it. So, of course, he has been invited to the Black Stars before. So, in terms of experience and exposure, Andy Kumi Francis has it. So, that is something around Andy Kumi. Francis. Now let's talk about Isa Kuka. Now Isa Kuka is one of the players at Hato Folk who officially informed the team that he won't be possible, he won't be playing. He doesn't want to be part of the plan. Especially when in the second round under uh, Abu Bakar Watara, he didn't have enough playing time. Probably the player feels that um, even if he stays, he won't be part of the coach's project. So of course he needs to move on. And as I'm speaking to you now, the player has moved on and how to folk have officially released Isakuka to Vision FC. And that is what is happening. So it's no more how to folk player, it's now a Vision FC player because officially how to folk have released a player to Vision FC and permanently, yes, on a permanent deal, Isakuka is no more how to folk player. So um, in 2021, 2022, we saw him at RTU. He played two consecutive seasons with RTU. And at a point in time, in the FA Cup, in the 2022-23, he was a top scorer until the season ended where he failed to finish as the top scorer. But then he was RTU's top scorer in the Premier League, having netted 12 goals. So at Hato Folk last season, he was given full opportunity, but it was difficult for Isa Kuka to break into the starting eleven of the team, having had Hamza Isa scoring 13 goals for the Premier League side. So for now, Isa Kuka is no more Heart of Oak player officially. He is no more a Heart of Oak player officially. So that is something around Isa Kuka. Now, last week I made a report about Ali Du Mohammed, and as I'm as I'm speaking to you now, Heart of Oak have not officially started possible deal agreement with Legon Cities yet. They have made contact, but they are yet to proceed. Don't forget that the transfer window ends on the 25th of August. On 25th of August. So it is very important for all the teams to start poaching the players they want to sign ahead of the new season. That is something around Heart of Folk. And they started, officially started pre season today. Heart of Folk officially started pre season today. So over the weekend, over the week, it was justified players. We are coming into play. Out of Oakland, play out of Lions on Sunday. Yes, in the Homo Cup 2024 Homo Cup at Accra Sports. And that is some information around Out of Gabriel Bonner 
is FC Summer Text former midfielder. He was part of the Chan team, though he didn't participate in the tournament. But at a point in time, he was part of the Black Galaxy squad. That uh, we're preparing for the qualifiers and also for the tournament proper. And so, Basaka Holy Stars have shown interest in the player. We are looking forward to get the player signed for them on a permanent deal. Now, let's move away from Basaka Holy Stars to Kumasa Santi Kotoko. Now, Kotoko are looking forward to complete the signature of Shao Kahn Ona for Mohammed. And I briefed you that negotiations are ongoing. It will be very clear by the end of the week. So, by Friday, I will tell you how far. But then the expectations is that Shao Kahn Ona for Mohammed must agree personal terms with Kumasa Santi Kotoko by Friday. Yes, personal terms must be agreed by Friday. Then they will proceed then the deal will proceed, then the signature will also move on. And so the yeah, possibility of seeing Shao Kahn moving from Accra Lions to Kumasa Santi Kotoko is on. The possibility and probability is on. So the defensive midfielder is likely to join um, Asante Kotoko. That is something around Kumasa Santi Kotoko. Um, could you say Bosu is a goalkeeper? It was hard to focus goalkeeper. And as I'm speaking to you now, Kojo is with Accra Lions and will sign a two-year contract. The goalkeeper, you know, uh, Accra Lions would only have one goalkeeper than the Afro. Yes, because Andrews also is not part of the team now. Andrews has left the country and we don't know whether he's back to play for Accra Lions or not. But for now, Accra Lions are looking forward for some replacement around the goalkeeping department. So in the absence of Andrews also, they are bringing in uh, Kojo Asebonsu from Hatch of Focus. Ebo also played for Brooklyn Chelsea. He played for Wafa and joined Hatch of but didn't kick any ball. He was Sharif Schwipe, Richard Atta, Richmond Ayi, and then uh, Kwesin Ketia. These are the four keepers who were in post for Hatch of Focus in the 2024, 2023-24 season. Kojo also was in part, he didn't participate in any game, but he was part of the registered players. It was Richmond Ayi, Richard Atta, Sharif Schwipe, and also Kwesi. In Ketia. So four goalkeepers were imposed for her to fall, but then Kojo Osebunsu was registered to be part of the team, but he didn't see more of the games. So of course, he has to move on as a goalkeeper. So he's expected to join Akka Lions permanently from her to fall. That is something around Kojo Osebunsu. And it's getting, it's getting more interesting around the transfer update. My name is Shaba Mohamed. Follow Mo TV. Follow us. Get all the updates. Get all the facts. I'll bring you Raza Kasim Samalashikwe, Prince Kobno Usu. Raza Kasim Samalashikwe, Prince Kobno Usu. By tomorrow morning, you are likely to see a lot of videos being shared around for you to enjoy something around the GPO. This is um, GPO headquarters. This is Shaban Mohammed. Mo Shaban. By my full name is Shaban Mohammed. Dancing. But then you can call me Shaban Mohammed. Mo Shaban or Mo. And I will respond to you. Leave your comments. Leave what you want. I want you to be more interactive i want the page to be more interactive i want people to share their thoughts i want everyone to recommend or speak about what they want or what they feel on the platform so we can work on it or we can get you the information my name again is shaban mohammed thank you this is mo tv and i promise you huge content so from tomorrow you are going to enjoy some special special content bye bye